Hey guys, I want to explain something because I actually get this a lot. A salt water pool is a chlorine pool. I know there's a lot of people that think that there's a difference in a salt water pool and a chlorine pool and a, and a salt water pool is, is like a, a healthier version. Chlorine is produced with the salt. The chemical compound of chlorine is NaCl. When the salt water passes through the, the chlorine generating cell, that's what your salt cell is called. It's called a chlorine generator. When the salt water passes through that chlorine generator, it separates the Na from the Cl. That's, what, that's how you get chlorine in your salt water pool. So whenever we are maintaining salt water pools, we're testing for chlorine. That's, that's what we, just like we do any of our chlorine pools, we, the, one of the first tests we do is what's your chlorine level in the saltwater pool. Now, if your chlorine level is low, that can usually indicate that your salt level is low because if there's not a lot of salt in the water, then your chlorine generator doesn't have a lot to work with to produce chlorine. That's why you gotta keep your salt level between uh, you know, 28 to 32 or 3400, depending on what you're referencing. Um, but a chlorine, a salt pool is a chlorine pool. You're, you're not getting away from the toxic chlorine with a salt pool. You're just not doing it. That's why, that's why we recommend the natural pool, the copper pool, because you're actually going to get away from the chlorine. The, one of the most dangerous chemical substances known to man, literally a weapon of war, shortly after we started manufacturing it, we started using it in chemical warfare. But you know what's crazy about that? We stopped using it in chemical warfare because it was so dangerous to the soldiers who were using it. It was so dangerous to transport it. So it's insane to me that we would somehow think we can take this toxic poison, one of the most toxic poisons known to man, and microdose it in a swimming pool to keep the water sanitary. You guys need to understand when you look at a crystal clear body of water, first of all, a lot of that has to do with the filter. But second of all, there's a reason nothing wants to live in that water. It's toxic. That's why nothing wants to live in it. That's why you should avoid it. You should remove all these toxins from your life. If you really think about it, guys, how many toxins, actual toxins, do you have in your life that are your body is having to cleanse, that your liver and your kidneys are having to remove from your, your blood and cleanse out of your system. How many toxins do you really have in your life? It's probably not that many. If you've got some bad habits, maybe alcohol, maybe tobacco, things like that. In our tap water, there's fluoride and chlorine. So that's why I'm so big on natural spring water. You should only use your tap water at your home for the toilet and the sink and the dishes. You should never consume it. And depending on where you live, guys, you might even want to monitor how long you're taking a shower for because that shower water is chlorinated. You take this nice, long, warm shower, guess what? Your pores open up. And then more of that chlorine absorbs into your body. You wonder why you got dry skin? You wonder why you got dry scalp? It's the chlorine in the water. It dries you out. Not only that, but your epidermis is the largest organ of your body. So you're forcing the, you're exposing the largest organ of your body to a toxic poison that absorbs through your skin. And some of it's stored in your thyroid because your thyroid thinks it's iodine. You, you, you guys realize, I think it's like 80% of the US has an iodine deficiency. I wonder why, I wonder why. I wonder if the chlorine in our tap water has anything to do with that. Now I know a lot of you guys can go out and get, go out and buy natural spring water, bottled water, whatever. But a lot of us can't, a lot, there's a lot of people out there who can't guys. Growing up, I always thought bottled water was just the biggest waste of money. Like why would you buy it if you can just turn on the faucet and fill up a bottle right there, you know? but. When you consider the poison that your body is being exposed to on a daily basis, I know it's probably the same for you. I take a shower every single day, sometimes twice a day, depending on how much I sweat. 
So that's at least a couple of times a day as just a regular person that I'm being exposed to chlorine, a toxic poison. As a pool guy, I'm exposed to it even more. And so I have to monitor that, but I'm getting off track. All I really wanted to say in this video was your salt pool is a chlorine pool. If you think it's not a chlorine pool, you're completely mistaken. It's absolutely a chlorine